Congratulations. I now declare you an Australian citizen. Easy and Aussie, Lizzie, easy, easy, easy and Aussie, Lizzie. There are only two foreigners that I remember as a child. One of them was the, the Chinese market gardener who'd trot past in his horse and cart. And the other was the bloke that arrived with the reindeers every Christmas. When I received my citizenship here in Wagga last January, I thought that Wagga was home. Because wherever I walk in Wagga, welcome, mate. How are you, love? Him, Osim, Shest, Dva, Yede. Oh, foreigners. The immigration area is a sensitive area of debate. That's because the historical reality has linked immigration explicitly with racism through the white Australia policy. You'd think they'd learn to talk English, wouldn't you? Yeah. I can't stand them. <laughs> You'll get used to it. There's more of them coming out every day. But it is beautiful here. I like it. I like your country. You're very welcome. As new Australians in our Australian community, we want to see more of your type. Why must we let these foreigners come to live in Littleton? We don't want them. This is an Australian town, made up of real Australian people. And we want to keep it that way. Australians are very, I'd say, tolerant to people from other cultures. But people like ourselves, who's grown up in a different culture, we have to also respect the local culture. Like we have to mow the lawn, weed the lawn, Make sure our garden looks perfect. It staggers me. Here they come from countries where human dignity is nil, where there is no freedom for the individual. They've come here for the better life. And the next thing we know, they're trying to revert us back to their old system. I wanted to be Australian, which was mixing with other people um, who were well, as it turns out, they weren't Anglo-Australian at all. They were Danish and Italian and Jewish and Polish. In the end, we gave up and we lived on pies and sauce. Do you understand English? Not too much. Not too much. Not too much.